Hello, welcome to the Paper Snot. This is Tara. Today I'm working on the Iron Crafter Challenge. This is a challenge that is hosted on the Peace, Craft, Love Clubhouse Facebook community group each month. Um, we started this hop because Anna and I were talking about there were things that we don't use often enough or enough of in our personal stashes. And so for the first year, which was 2023, we came up with a list ourselves of things that we don't use often enough. This year, I asked the community group their opinions on the list and with their suggestions, I came up with a list, mix it up a little bit so that they wouldn't really know the order because each month I kind of surprise them with the mystery item. For the month of May, our mystery item is scraps. We've all got scraps. Some of us have 20 years worth of scraps in our stash. Others are new to scrapbooking and they don't have as many. Um, I'm one of those ones who have scraps that are at least 10 to 15 years old at this point and would be happy to use up nothing but scraps. In fact, maybe I should do that, just have a whole series of using up scraps. Anyway, so what I have for you today are scraps that I have created so far this month from my May counterfeit kit. And there's just kind of a, a random bit of scraps plus some embellishments from my kit just to get me going and a photo. So let's talk about this photo for just a moment. This is a photo of my daughter. She was working at the local Starbucks in Clarksville, Tennessee. It was one that was pretty close to our house, but um, Tennessee is basically Tornado Alley especially where Courtney lives. She still lives there today. And um, tornadoes are a thing that you worry about all spring long because the weather's volatile. And anyway, she was at work one night and there was a tornado warning. And they are hunkered down behind the um, counter at Starbucks where they worked, just kind of waiting out the storm. I believe we lost um, power that night, if I recall correctly, um, as that tornado came through. And it was kind of scary, scary for Courtney because she was at work and scary for me because I was worried about her at work. But that's what this layout is going to be about. I have a lot of Pink Fresh Studio some days in my counterfeit kit and I will be using the scraps that I have created so far. Um, a couple of them, like these two pieces here, are from the Some Days collection. This is a Becky Higgins piece of pattern paper. It was put into my kit for the striped side, but I'm going to flip this piece over and use the polka dot side. This is a close to my heart piece of pattern paper. And this is freckled fawn, and I'm going to be using this side. And then I have a whole bunch of embellishments here from the Some Days collection as well. So I'm going to go ahead and pause. We're going to get started with this layout, and I will be right back. The first thing I did was to switch out the white background cardstock for a piece of black background cardstock. It just felt like these bright colors needed to be against that darker background to stand out more and so now I'm just trimming down my scraps a little bit so that I can get started. I'm going to take this large square and I'm going to glue it down kind of in the middle. Again if you know me and have watched my videos enough you know I don't really measure things. I just kind of plop them down until they look good and that's what I've done here. I have already stated that a lot of these pattern papers have come from Paint Fresh Studios. They are in my kit for counterfeit kit this month, but I have also um, have a few other bits and pieces in here. But today I'm just trying to use up the scraps that I have created so far with my kit, and I get most of them on here. I think I leave out one, but um, I'm going to tuck that photo underneath that torn piece of pattern paper. And now I am going to begin the process of embellishing stuff. I have some acetate Pink Fresh Studio 
pocket life cards in my kit. They're from a really old collection of theirs and they've been in my stash forever and a day. And so I am working through them this month, hopefully to get as many of them out of my stash as I possibly can. I'm also going to be using these envelopes as makeshift photo mats. I love the layering that they give and I love the little bit of um, texture that they provide in the layout. And, you know, for the most part, you could use these for um, hidden, hidden journaling or just about anything. But my favorite way to use things like this is to use them as layering pieces under photo for matting my photo. And that's kind of what I'm doing here. You will notice that I lost the string off one of them and that doesn't really matter so much because I'm just going to work around it. I had pre-planned some of the ephemera from the Some Days um, ephemera packs that I had put in my May counterfeit kit and pulled things out that I thought would work well with this photo. And now you just see me layering up some things. There are a lot of layers going on. There's a lot of colors in this layout. And I'm just kind of randomly using things from this ephemera pack. Some of it I didn't even think I had a use for until I decided to scrapbook this photo and realized that I could use the espresso machine and the coffee cup and some of the um, not so positive phrases from this collection. And I'm going to use here and now on this polka, dot, polka dotted paper as my title. And I wish that all of the letters had been in black. They're not, some of them are in white. They do show up better in person than they do on camera, fortunately, but um, it is what it is. Probably could have glued those down onto a piece of solid cardstock rather than that mat, that um, torn border, but it's, it is what it is, right? So now I'm just kind of playing with the stickers and the little journaling bits and I'm trying to just create a place to write some journaling as well as have some embellishments and a lot of times when I use enamel dots I will also use them as placeholders before I glue a layout down so that I know where I intended things to go and that's kind of what you saw me do there I used it on top of that sticker um, it had something like bad and then good day and so I put the enamel dot on the sticker close to the bad, um, since this wasn't actually a great time. <laughs> um, luckily, I don't think there was any damage from that storm this time, but if you've seen recent news of Clarksville, Tennessee, they've had some pretty bad damage over the last year, year and a half from tornadoes, and that can be quite scary. So I really thought that the two little cups were adorable and I wanted to make sure that I got them both on there with that espresso machine. So I'm just layering up the different phrases and things at this point, making sure I get use of some of these, um, like I said, not so positive phrases from this collection on a, a layout that features a kind of a scary bad moment for my daughter. She was really upset that day because of this storm, it really, um, it really scared her. So I think I've got everything that I wanted on this layout and I'm gonna stop and glue. Okay, I got this layout completely done. You saw everything I did on camera, except for I went ahead and I added a few more enamel dots in places, just one, just to use them and two, just to kind of Put a little emphasis in certain little areas. Um, this layout is all scraps except for the background um, paper and it is completely finished. Thank you so much for coming to my channel today. I really appreciate those of you who take the time to like, comment, and or subscribe. Please make sure that you check that description box below for this month's playlist for Iron Crafter Challenge. We have a great group of creators who join almost every month and they are amazing at what they do. Again, I want to thank you for being here and you have a great rest of your Friday and a great weekend. Bye.